Hey everybody, this is Hannah, Hannah Morgan Horsemanship, um, and this is the finale to our trailering series. So, hey buddy. Um, yeah, so we have explored the trailer, we have um, stepped over and backed off and put his feet all kinds of places. Um, we've done all of our steps, so it's time to find out if he gets in the trailer. Um, and you'll notice, um, I am in the same outfit as when the stepping over the pole thing happened. I spent a few minutes working with him off camera to get him back to being relaxed um, so that we could move on to the next step, right? So that's important. And even if he, even if he starts showing some of this stuff, good. I'm going to help him through it before I worry about getting him on the trailer. Um, and notice I said, we're gonna see if he gets on the trailer. <laughs> um, I'm not looking for a fight. I wanna see if all the things that I've done with this horse up until this point um, are sufficient for him to be curious enough and confident enough to get on that trailer by himself. Now, good. So he wanted to sit there and chew on me. I needed to interrupt that thought a little bit and just get him to move that front end over. Good. And I might scratch on him until he puts that ear back and gives me his attention again. That feels pretty good, huh? Still hasn't given me that ear. Still there. Good. There. That's better. Good. Okay. So I'm going to lead him over there and we'll see what happens. Hey, bud. So I'm going to stand in the trailer. Good. He's done quite a bit of exploring already, but if he wants to do more, that's fine by me. And I'm going to talk a little bit in here because it echoes and I'm sure my voice sounds different. So I just want to keep talking so that he can hear me. What a good boy. The thing I'm going to be ready for is if he shoots out backwards, I'm going to follow him. I don't want a train wreck. What a good man. Looky there. And if at any point he wants to race out backwards, I'm going to follow him so that I do not, he's going to eat my flag, so that I do not make this a train wreck. If, if I were to tighten down on that halter, there's a decent chance that he would raise his head and smack it up top. Don't want that either. We want, the, we want every time he trailers to be a positive experience, but especially the first one. He had a nibble of that hay. Um, now we're lucky with this trailer because it's got enough space for him to turn around and come off of. Um, so the first time that he's in here, that's probably what I'll let him do. Because we've got plenty of time to practice stepping on and then backing off this trailer. So um, if you have a, a straight load or a bumper pull, then you might spend a little bit more time on and off, on and off with those front feet and such before you get them all the way on. Um, but today I kind of took what he offered me. Good man. Good. And I don't want to make him stand here forever either. So I want the first time to be short and sweet. He got a few bites of hay. And now we might see if we can maneuver a little bit. So, yeah, he's going to chew on the trailer a little bit. Hey, bud. Everything's slow and steady. I'm going to step out of his way and see if he'll turn himself around nice and easy. And I'm just going to be aware that he might come out kind of quick. So I'm not standing in the middle. Um, I'm kind of standing off to the side. Good. Just going to invite him to step back off. 
And I'm starting forwards because that's easier and we always want to start with something easy. Good. And he might launch himself off the back of that. I'm just ready for that. There. Good. But again, this lead rope is slack. I'm not good. I want to give him all the freedom he needs to figure out how to control his own body when he goes on and off that trailer. Good boy. So that was pretty good. No drama. And um, we're about three days shy of his first birthday, so not too bad. I'd say that was successful. So um, I'll just spend some time. So he's telling me again that he might be a little nervous about everything that just happened. So before I take him back to the barn, I'm just going to spend a few minutes with him, getting him nice and relaxed again. Um, and then we'll put him away. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching the series. Um, and I hope it was helpful.